Hi, this is Adam from Recreation Services, and in the spirit of Bell Let's Talk, I want to talk a little bit about mental health and how exercise can help manage our mental health and improve our coping abilities. About one in five people suffer from some sort of mental health issue over the course of any given year, and in our lifetime almost everyone will be affected by mental health, whether it's through our own experience or through friends or colleagues or family. Depression is the leading cause worldwide for disability. Inactivity can be both a contributor or a symptom to poor mental health. And conversely, an active lifestyle can be both a symptom or a contributor to resilience and our ability to cope with, this, with stress. Physical activity has been shown to have multiple effects that can improve our mental health. Some of those effects can be improved sleep, improved stress relief, increased energy, improved mood, increased alertness, improved self-esteem, and improved uh, cognitive function. So all these things can combine to reduce the amount of days that we might suffer from poor mental health. A study that followed 1.2 million people determined that regular exercisers suffered 40% fewer poor mental health days per month, where non-exercisers were about 3.4 days, regular exercisers suffered about two days per month of poor mental health. So whether you've previously suffered from depression or, or poor mental health, or it's something new to you, exercise can be a great tool in helping to relieve some of those symptoms or prevent uh, onset of, of poor mental health, uh, depression, anxiety. Many people skip exercise when they're suffering from poor mental health However, this is the time your body needs it the most. Choosing not to exercise uh, when you're down and depressed is almost like not taking an aspirin when you have a headache. It's the thing you need the most. It can help you the most immediately, um, but it's just something that, you know, it's hard to get yourself up to do. However, if you can just bring yourself to moving and being active, uh, you'll see improved mental health, alertness, improved mood, and then fewer days you know, recurring after that. Exercise has also been shown to alleviate anxiety, which I alluded to. It's been determined that as little as 10 minutes of moderate activity can reduce uh, anxiety and elevate mood for several hours. So just a 10 minute break when you're feeling a little anxious uh, can make you feel better for, for several hours. Exercise can also help improve anxiety and anxiety disorders, and it doesn't take that much. As little as a 10 minute break uh, can elevate mood for several hours. So while the effects of exercise are temporary in terms of managing anxiety, regular activity can help reduce the occurrence of, of anxiety and anxiety disorders. So while we know exercise is good at managing mental health, uh, not everything uh, is equal and more isn't necessarily better. Three or so days a week of about 45 minutes was found to be the most effective in managing uh, mental health. So you don't need to exercise for hours a day to manage your mental health. If you can just work out for a little less than an hour, most days of the week or half of the week, uh, you'll, you'll do enough to kind of improve your mental health and manage stress. On top of that, things like team sports, uh, whether it's, you know, a rec league or intramurals or something like that, or aerobics, group fitness, things like that have been shown to have greater results in terms of improved mental health. And even if you feel fine, vigorous activity has been shown to reduce the occurrence of, of depression by 25% over the next five years. So even if mental health hasn't really affected you up till now, it's still a good thing in terms of preventing it in the future. So to help manage mental health, Find a way to be active that you enjoy. And if you prefer to have more of a social dynamic or some guidance, think about joining a team or a class or something like that where you can get a little more of a group atmosphere. But really the key is just to find something you enjoy that you like doing and that keeps you moving. So get out, be active and have fun.